your live interactive coverage with CBS 13 and Fox 23 will begin shortly. Live interactive coverage with CBS 13 and Fox 23 starts right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Owen Kingsley. Here's our digital studio, and this is Weekend Headlines. Thank you very much for joining us, and hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of the sunshine we got out there today. A little more on the way tomorrow, but we'll get to that in just a few minutes. Let's get to a little bit of the headlines we're working on tonight, but very quickly, a couple housekeeping notes. Sure, as you noticed, no show earlier on CBS 13 at 6. Instead, there was a uh, soccer match. We do have our normal shows coming up later tonight. Fox uh, will be coming up after baseball, and we have our normally scheduled show at 11 over on CBS 13. Let's get a little bit of what we're following here this weekend. Some new details after nearly 200 emergency homeless shelter beds are coming to Portland. This is City Resources are stretched thin trying to house asylum seekers in several homeless encampments continue to show up around the city. Portland officials say the new shelter will be at 166 Riverside Street and it'll have 180 beds. The hope is that the $4.6 million grant from Maine Housing for this new shelter would help house the asylum seekers and free up space for people who are living in those encampments. The agenda states that Portland, or rather the city council agenda that uh, is on Monday, states that Portland would be responsible for operating the shelter for the first half of a three-year proposed contract. And then Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition would finish out the term. CBS 13's Johnny Maffey has more from Governor Mills and her reaction coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Well, fire officials say cooking caused a fire in wow. on Exchange Street, a restaurant there in Portland late last night. This is some viewer That's video that we have of the scene cool. late last night. The Portland Fire Department got the call around 1020 and responded just minutes later to 86 Exchange Street. Within 30 minutes, crews got the call at the grill room under control and cleared the scene shortly after midnight. No injuries were reported and officials say there were fully functioning fire alarms and sprinklers. A couple in town for the week were eating at the diner, or rather, the dinner were eating dinner there while it happened. Fire alarm went off. We didn't see any fire inside, but we saw water spraying down in the kitchen and went outside. We kind of looked to the side of the building and there was flames just pouring out of what we were assuming was like the, the hood, like the, ga uh, yeah. the grease or the. Uh, but it was wild. Um, and Fire officials say, or rather, uh, what we're learning, Monroe and his wife actually staying at an Airbnb in the same building, which they could not get back in for hours. The cause has been determined to be accidental. And the owner of the building, Steve Parker, says the restaurant will be closed until things dry out and some duct work can be completed. Well, as I mentioned off the top, beautiful weather coming in tomorrow. Really the only stretch where we're going to get after a very cloudy and chilly week that we just had. Let's bring in our meteorologist, Ryan Munn. Ryan, you've been following this. Uh, we at least have one day, if nothing else. Yeah, tomorrow's beautiful. I mean, I, I can't even, we we deserve tomorrow. We really do. We deserve tomorrow. It's been a lot of cloudy, just showery, cool temperatures over the last couple of days and throughout much of this week. Now, we did have some showers out there earlier, and you can see that we have those showers now starting to dissipate. There's pretty much no rain across the state anymore, so that's some good news. Low temperatures tonight drop back to the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees, so, you know, about average, about where we should be for this time of the year. And let's get a look at the forecast as we head into the day tomorrow. We are going to see a very nice day, partly to mostly sunny skies. Get out there, make those plans outdoors. Temperatures will run in the 70s across the state. Just a very, very nice day, and Unfortunately, there's plenty of chances for rain as we head into the work week. So again, just try and get out there for tomorrow. Now let's look at the forecast for the day tomorrow, 10 o'clock. We're already in the 70s for most areas, some upper 60s as well. Lots of sunshine, a few clouds. I want to point something out though. Notice as we head into the afternoon, see those little pop-up spots of green. I think that's a little bit overdone. I think we are going to run a very, and I mean very isolated chance for a shower 
tomorrow. And, you know, again, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Didn't even put it in the forecast because I don't think it's enough to really warrant the forecast. And as we get a look at into the day on Monday, we are going to see once again, the chances for rain increase. And look at your seven-day forecast. Mainly cloudy skies on Monday. We're dry on Monday. It's Monday evening, Monday night that we could run the risk for some rain. And that rain continues into the day Tuesday. Temperatures in the lower 70s, and, or excuse me, lower 60s. And then, again, as we head into this week, later on Wednesday, a chance for showers and storms. More showers possible Thursday. Late-day storm possible Friday. So, you know, my tip for you is just get out there tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Well, Ryan, thanks so much. And again, you can check out Ryan's full forecast coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, which will be coming up after that baseball game, a little bit after 10 over on Fox 23 and at 11 on CBS 13. Well, we did see a little bit of rain today, but it didn't stop folks in Brunswick from celebrating Pride Month, the rain or shine celebration hosted by many events at the town hall, or rather the town mall, including drag performances, poetry, and story readings, and music. The festivities are continuing through much of the day today with an after party on Pleasant Street. Dale McCormier is proud of the progress. This for 50 years and it's been slow and to finally come into our own, be able to marry, to not be fired for who we love um, and to have this center now. So now we have a space Absolutely. In Portland, and we uh, share it with e other equality-minded people. Tomorrow, the festival comes to a close with a church service at First Parish Church UCC and a family-friendly bike ride throughout the town. Well, special kind of training going on in Sanford today for Civil Air Patrol members. Search and rescue training. The Sanford Composite Squadron hosted the event at the Sanford Seacoast Regional Airport. Today's training focused on the scenario of a lost person, an emergency they'd likely be called in to help with. Training measures today included air and land searches, exercises for victims in and around the Sanford area. Members taking part included seniors, rather senior members 18 and up, as well as cadets between the ages of 12 and 21. Well, that is all that we have for right now. We have much more news and weather coming up tonight at 10 and 11. So please tune in then. You'll get Ryan's full forecast and these stories and much more. So thank you for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you coming up later tonight. You've been watching live interactive coverage from CBS 13 and Fox 23. Make sure to stay connected with CBS 13 and Fox 23 on air, online.